Lamborghini didn't need to build the Huracan Performante the folks in Santiago could have just rolled out another special edition Huracan, Superlegra, Tricolor, probably even Mostacoli, and sold everyone instead, they gave the junior Lamborghini a trick active aerodynamic system and updated everything enabled by new levels of downforce and more grip from the latest generation of tires and then just to prove it's not messing around, Lamborghini went out and said it new production car Nürburgring lap record the Huracan Performante is a statement. This is Lamborghini's way of saying that its future will not just be high-tech, but the kind that brings world-class performance and it will be loud very loud sound is the most defining characteristic of this car in the era of turbocharging, everything else is too quiet quiet is not a problem in the performante in track ready Corsa mode, one of three settings, the exhaust drowns out everything, even your internal monologue and it's not just loud, it sounds like an honest to god raw checker making a V10 sound not just decent, but back of the neck hair thrilling, would have been enough. But as we've hinted, there's more to the Huracan Performante so how did we get here? Lamborghini rolled out the Performante title to define all-encompassing performance so the all-wheel drive system stays, the engine gets tweaked, some weight goes out, and aerodynamic Lamborghini Ativa, ALA, or Lamborghini Active Aerodynamics, comes in fun fact, ALA means wing in Italian. We've covered most of the details in earlier posts, but to quickly review, ALA uses internal flaps at the front splitter and on the rear wing to alter airflow either running for maximum downforce or creating a stall effect that lowers drag at the rear. The system channels air through the wing struts, and using each side independently aids the handling the increased downforce, plus sticky new Pirelli P0 Corsa tires, necessitated a retuning of the suspension through new springs and anti-roll bars, vertical stiffness is up 10%, and roll stiffness increases 15 points. The engine gets a new intake and exhaust, plus titanium intake valves that allow more lift to improve breathing is good for 630 horsepower, 28 more than before, with 443 pound-feet of torque. 